Hello ladies and gents, welcome to my data pack for review for eFootball PES 2021. So I'm going to be focusing solely on the gameplay aspect. So any enhancements, noticeable changes to what is happening on the field of play, rather than the likes of player faces or iconic moments or iconic players in my club. So we're purely focusing on the gameplay enhancements or things that haven't gone so well in data pack 4. And this passage of play that you're seeing is the very, very first time I actually booted up the Data Pack 4 and started recording straight off the bat. This is the very, very first game. And immediately noticeable to me was how responsive the players felt um, with and without the ball. So the turning circles just seemed much more responsive. Um, the players just felt really, really nice to use. Skills felt very, very fluid as well. Everything felt like instant. The in, you know the the time I input the controls into the gamepad, that's what I was witnessing on screen. It just felt really, really slick. And it got to the point that I actually had to stop the game and check to make sure I was still playing Legendary because it was just so, so smooth. And I was just like creating chance after chance. I think this is it here. I was like, I've got to just check this. I, is, is this really Legend difficulty? Because the game was so ridiculously smooth and it's not normally like that. And there you go, it was on Legend the whole time. And I was just mind blown by that. I just thought, how how is this so good? <laughs> how is it like this? So yeah, like I said, the, the first thing I noticed was the players just feel so much more responsive. I think in this next clip we'll display exactly what I'm talking about in terms of responsiveness off the ball. Normally when you select a player, especially a defender, there's like a brief pause. But here you can see how much faster I can move Maguire shortly after selecting him. It's almost instantaneous. I'll cover more of the player side of things a little bit later, but I just want to focus on the second biggest change in Data Pack 4 that I noticed, and that's the CPU. I find that the artificial intelligence of the CPU has greatly improved, and they're taking on shots earlier. They're also taking on long-range shots more frequently, and just the general play from the AI has been greatly improved as well. Beforehand, they seemed like super direct, like every pass had to be forwards generally, and then they'd run out of options and give the ball up cheaply. Or if they had the ball in a deep defensive position and you blocked off the passing lanes, they just hoof it forward like it's Wimbledon from the 90s. But don't get me wrong, if the chance is on and the ball is on, then they will definitely take it as you're going to see here. Look at this defense splitting pass here. What a beautiful pass. And they go on to finish. Another thing about the AI is they love to cross the ball. My word. I was like, just check out this little bit of play here from Arsenal, right? It's absolutely stunning. They work it into the central area, but then flick it out wide to get the cross in and then run in and head it in. That is crazy good. And they kept doing this. They kept working it really intelligently. Like normally it's a little bit predictable, but... They get the ball out wide here, but look at this. They drop it back and then feed that same player in. He's inside my fullback, and then they almost scored again. I just thought, well, perhaps maybe it's just Arsenal I'm playing. So let's switch it to Liverpool, because Arsenal was my test bed for the for most of the tests, so I can compare easily. But you can see here, Liverpool getting it wide, getting crosses in, and uh, yeah, caused me a lot of problems here again. Watch this. You know, retains the ball well. First thing they do, what do they do? get out to the wings and obviously on legend difficulty when they can cross they're really really accurate at crossing and look at this bit of play here to feed the ball into Milner I believe that is in the channel so really really good and one of the other things I really liked is look at this look remember I said about playing the ball forwards right there they played the ball backwards they're looking for space passing it inside then it's not nothing's pointless and then check out this little bit of skill here from Pepe Look at this. Where's that come from? My word. Check out this last clip with Liverpool where they spread the ball across the pitch from right to left. And they get the cross in to make it 3-0. I have to admit, I've been really enjoying what the AI have to offer on Legend Difficulty. And it's definitely going to make it far more challenging. But don't worry, the AI is not totally godlike. And they do make mistakes. And pass errors have been or seem to have been increased to counterbalance this sort of more creative CPU. And here's just a few examples of some of the pass errors they made during some of the matches. So here, far too much weight on that pass. 
And the same for this one as well, which goes out for a throw in. Now, remember I talked about earlier on about the responsiveness and that definitely goes for skills as well, including finesse dribble. So you can see here a little bit of finesse dribbling as I just moved this ball to the side before shifting it forward past that oncoming player and skills as well. Much more responsive. I feel like I'm just able to leave it a split second later when I want to make my move. Now, all this added responsiveness is great, especially for those of us who are offline players. But even against the AI, it can feel a little frenetic at times and extremely fast paced. But whilst this might be great for offline, online it could be absolutely mental, especially those five star My Club teams with the likes of Cruyff, Maradona, and other 100 plus rated players. I think from an offline perspective, you can deal with it, but online, I don't know. It could be absolutely mental. You'll have to let me know down in the comments what you think of it online, because I haven't done any online tests uh, so far. So yeah, get your uh, comments down below. But for me, it could possibly feel a little bit mental because of the added responsiveness. And because the games are so fast paced now, you get, tons of weird collisions and awkward awkward collisions like you're seeing here and i think it's just purely because the game just can't keep up look at all these uh <laughs> look at it it's absolute carnage on the field <laughs> um so yeah you might get a lot of uh you know sort of weird collisions going on and this one here was really weird for me like matic just being pulled down by salah i don't know that that was weird and this one here as well Normally, when you just double tap X, you pull a player down. But Salah's actually able to fend me off here. I, you know, I don't double tap X a lot, to be honest. And uh, that must be the first one this year. But normally, when you double tap X, they, you pull the player down and then, you know, it's a free kick. But here, Salah's able to fend that challenge off somehow and score. But other than that, everything else seems much to be as it was before. Like in terms of speed and players running with the ball, as you're going to see here, it's still fine. You can still burst past, burst past defenders. So yeah, the two biggest things for me were the responsiveness, just general skills, the players off the ball, on the ball. Every every bit of the responsiveness just seems to be a little bit tightened up a little bit more, ever so slightly, but it makes for a more fluid game. But like I said. It could be a little bit mental online. And obviously, the other thing that was improved was just the AI. They just seem more creative. And it just seems for a much better game. At first, I thought, this is a bit easy against Legend. Remember I, earlier in the video where I had to check to see which difficulty I was on? Because it didn't feel like Legend. But when they got the ball and they started creating, I did actually lose more games than I actually won. So I think there's definitely going to be... Um, it's going to be a little bit more challenging and you have to like actually think about what you're going to do defensively to stop legend creating chances so frequently especially from the wide areas where they're going to cross spam quite heavily so that is all for me ladies and gents hopefully you enjoyed this video thanks for watching and i look forward to seeing you guys in my future videos thanks again bye bye